Right guys, so welcome back to some more Falls Motors Wall 6 Porsche GSR 15 here and last time, I can't even remember what we were doing last night, it was literally yesterday I recorded the video and it was yesterday that the video was uploaded as well and I have, I honestly cannot remember what I drove, I know it was a red, or well it was supposed to be red but I drove a yellow one I think it was a GT3, I think it was actually called the GT3 but this time I believe we're using the Macon which is another SUV we've already had the Canaan, I think it's pronounced like that now I've got the Macon, I don't know why they're not in the same category but it doesn't matter because we've got this one, then we've got another one, and I think that's the end of this championship. We might be on to the final, final one then. So let's begin this. So it was the GTS. I, I mean, I was close. I said it was red. It's supposed to be yellow. It was yellow, that one. But we're using the 2015 Porsche Macon Turbo. Then we've got that, and I think that's the end of this little championship. We've got one more era. I believe we'll have the 918, the... Carrera GT and I think two others maybe in that but we'll have to see two events. Let's click it Mine's actually silver. Okay, so you can get it in black. So go and buy car. Yeah, you can see it's black there 496 mine's a little bit higher. So we'll have to downgrade it I'm happy with this downgrade because I know mine's mine's in the wrong here. Let's install the free upgrade Let's see what track we're going to first The McCann is a CUV or crossover utility vehicle, essentially a compact SUV. Smaller than its sibling, the Cayenne, the Macan can pack in more performance with its twin-turbo V6 engine, air suspension, and a responsive seven-speed PDK transmission. Okay, thank you, Patrick. So a CUV it's known as, which is the compact, basically a compact SUV. So let's go on to mods, let's throw on which one should we get? Should we get less weight? I think less weight will be handy because I don't know how heavy this thing is. It looks pretty heavy for an SUV. So we'll start it. We're on Prague as well. I like Prague. It's one of my favourite tracks, if not my favourite track on the game. This isn't the sound of it though. Oh, I like the sound of that. Oh, it's got four-wheel drive as well. That launch is quick compared to some of these cars. So we're against other SUVs and an off-road, off-roading section maybe? I don't know because we've got the G63. No, it's not called the G63. I honestly cannot remember that what that car's got. I'm going to move away. I'm going to move around. So we've got BMWs, got Range Rovers, got Ford Raptors back there. I believe they were the new ones though. We've got the Mercedes, a Jeep, truck, van thing. I'm, you know, I'm just going to move on. I'm not even going to talk about the Mercedes. Excuse me. Thank you. Another Range Rover. you got red tint in your window. Why? I think I've... No, mine's just clear. I thought I had black in it, but no, it's clear. I love this track so much. I think it is definitely my favourite. It was my favourite one in Forza uh, Motorsport 5, and now, you know, I love it. I love this. And Rio is a close number two, though. It's very close number two, Rio. But yeah, I'm not quite sure why this and the, the Canaan, I think it's called... I'm going to keep getting that wrong answer. The Macon and the Canaan, the big SUVs, why are they not in the same championship? I don't know. Are you a Macon in front? You crashed into the wall, so I'm about to crash into the wall. I did crash into the wall. Well, this just makes both of us look stupid now, doesn't it? But yeah, I don't know why they're not in the same championship. Surely they'd be about the same, roughly, um, rank and everything. So I don't know why they're not in the same championship. Maybe this one's got a bigger engine. It's got to go into this championship. I'm not too sure. We'll just have to see what happens later on in the race. We might come across one. You never know. In a second race, we might come across one. I doubt it. We'll just have to see what happens. So I clicked on the start menu to see what type of cars we are actually up against. The three Porsche makers in the top three position. We'd have another one in uh, position six, but it's fine. Then we've got a Nissan Juke. Why are they ranked D? And then, oh my gosh, we've got all the Raptors. Why are all the Raptors last? Why are they all ranked D? Why don't you crank them up to C? It makes no sense. Why? Why? I just I just don't know why they do that. But Prague, look at this city. It's so nice. It's so beautiful. I love this city. They've redone the poster. It's all looking fabulous. It's amazing. We've got a tram there. Imagine if that tram just set off. Imagine you could race the tram. You know, showcasing Forza Horizon 3. There you go. You know, race the tram. I'd love to do that in Prague. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to Forza Horizon 3. Really looking forward to it. I've actually pre the game already. I'm super looking forward to that. So hopefully that'll come out soon. But yeah, final lap. I know I haven't really shown much. There's a helicopter there. It's just hovering. Normally they fly around. Why are you just hovering in one spot? Oh, of course when I get to this position, then you decide to move. Honestly, helicopters. I think I'll show the interior next race. I don't think we're going to go up against the other SUV, the Porsche. Because it's not been in this race. 
But you never know. I thought I was going to click that, that wall then. I got so close to it. Let me get around there. It's drift or power slide because we're four-wheel drive. Actually, power slides and drift pretty good. It's a pretty good car. Never understood that statue either. Never understood it. But anyway, coming up to a finish now. We can go, choose to go into the pits. We might do it next race if we're so far ahead. And across the line sideways. There we go. 2 minute 18. 18, 18. Oh. So what do we get for this? We get 24,000 credits. You can see my credits there. Do I need any more? No, I don't. I can't buy any new ca any more cars because my garage space is full. I've got every single car plus two more. So say if there's 300 cars, I've got 302. And that's all the cars you can get. I just I just don't understand. Expand your garage, please. We did get a wheel spin though. So let's wheel spin away. We're one level of 400 levels. And we get 300 credits. You know, 300, 300,000 credits. I'll take it, I'll take it. Porsche's already level 25. Uh, so let's have a go into Sonoma. Am I right? I am right. The Sonoma GP. So Patrick didn't have anything to say to us. You know what? It's fine. I don't want you to talk to me anyway. It's not like I have, I have any friends. Uh, we've got two of them. I should really use that. I'm going to... No, I don't want to throw that one on. Where's my first one? Uh, do we get grip or do we get less weight? I think I want a bit more power because I am only C ranked. So I'm gonna, just going to throw that on. You know what? That can wait. We'll, we'll do that next time. Let's start the race. We've already listened to the sound of the car. It actually sounds pretty good. I didn't even expect it to sound like that. I'm going to shut up again so we can listen to how epic it sounds. Go the Duke in the back. So the Raptors and the Dukes, they're going to fall behind quite a bit. As you can see, everyone's pulled away from them. Got a Duke here, excuse me. See, it's a Nissan Duke Nismo. So obviously it's a bit better than the original Nissan Duke. So I, don't, I still don't know why it's so bad. Excuse me, Kanan. Um, why am I keep calling it Kanan? It's a Macon. I don't even know if the Kanan is the right word. Oh, the Ranger have a little bit of fight with the Mercedes there. But it's fine. We've all got round nice and fine. Four laps of this. I think there's going to be some cut edits in this. Oh, smash the tyres. There we go. I do like to smash the tyres. Let's have a look at the inside of the car. So, obviously, you know, you get your yeah, SUV. You need lots of dashboards. I thought that red flag on the floor was a car there. I was like, what? Got a making turbo, your little TV thing. I don't know what it is. sat now for it's touch screen or something like that in the corner there. Got a dial above. Is that the clock? Is it three minutes past 12? No, it's two minutes past 12. That clock's lying to me. It's two minutes past 12, and that one says three minutes. That's that's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's like the cake. It's a lie. Oh, now it's three minutes past. So you're okay. You're excused now. It's a pretty quick car as well for C-Class. For it to reach 100, and I think 20 reached in Prague. It's pretty, pretty quick. I do like this car. I do like it a lot. And I've said that about every single car in this championship now. Or in this whole series. So as I've been driving around the track for the past two laps, if not three, if you count this one as a lap yet, I have noticed some places which flags are placed like ramps. I want to see if I can use them as a ramp. Also, I want to try and climb this. This one's pretty cool. There's, I think it's back down there. Look at this. I can climb up here. That's the only off-road section we literally have in this game. Oh, no, I'm stuck. Oh, no, I'm fine. Okay, I thought I got stuck there. I actually got stuck. Here, can I use this as a ramp? Please, please, please. No, oh, well, that was just disappointing. And I just wasted your time's nothing. That made no sense. I just wasted your guy's time. There we go. For nothing. Well, that was very, very disappointing. Forza Horizon 3, you know what you need to do. Put ramps and put flags that are ramps. Please. So we're at the final corner, and if you can see by the clock, it is now, I think, 10 minutes past. And that means it's taken us about 8 minutes, 7, 8 minutes, to get around this track. And let's cross the line. There we go. 1 minute 52, our fastest lap. I don't know really how good that is compared to leaderboards. It's probably really bad, because I wanted to go off-road and crash into lots of flags. But yeah, 25,000 credits. We're almost on level 400. Although you probably won't see that level 400 in the next episode because I'm trying to do the NASCAR on my own at the moment. Uh, we've already hit level with that. So let's have a go in 2014 Porsche 911 Turbo S next. Let's continue. Now, I know what you're going to say, so I'm not even going to bother saying it. You've completed all races for the McCann Turbo. 
As I said, I already knew what I was going to say. So we've got this, and I believe we've got another championship. Like I said, that's going to be where the 918 and the Carrera GT hopefully is. And plus a few of the Le Mans other big races. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Let me know that you want to see some more of the Ford's Motorsports X Porsche. Even though we're getting close to the end, I might do a few separate videos on different things. Comment down below in the comments if you ask any questions. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.